Hello, and welcome to the SAP Business One overview video series. Today, we're going to be looking at purchasing, and we're going to be looking at AP invoicing, so accounts payable invoicing. Let's go over here to our modules on the left-hand side, and let's go into purchasing, and let me show you a couple of different ways that we can do an AP invoice. So I could go directly here under AP invoice, and I could uh, choose that, and I can see that this is now going full screen here. Let's just make this a little bit smaller. Great, so we can start looking at the information that we have here. Now, by creating an AP invoice, I have a couple of different ways that I can do this. I could do a manual AP invoice if I was going to be uh, paying someone without a purchase order, but let's go look at, uh, see if we have any purchase orders that are open that I can do an AP invoice directly off of that purchase order and goods receipt. So let's go choose one of our vendors here, and let's say copy from, and let's go and look at a goods receipt PO that has come in. So as you know, purchase order, uh, once the items re are received in my warehouse, a goods receipt PO is received. So once that comes in, I'm going to create an AP invoice from that goods receipt PO. I do have a couple here in the system. Great. So we can look at these. I could put all of these onto a single AP if I wanted to uh, just send a single invoice out to my vendor. But let's just say I want to choose one of these independent of my own. And let's go down and look at one that was just created. And we're going to choose that. Now, I'm going to receive my draw document wizard. This should be familiar if you've watched other videos um, as you're going through drawing data over. I can customize that or I can draw all data. We're going to draw everything that was over on that, uh, uh, that goods receipt PO. So let's finish that. Let's take a look. Here we go. There's three items. Excellent. So I can see my amount that's down here and my total payment that's due, because this is going to be tax plus my total before discounts or taxes, we can see that this was based on a purchase order, then based on a goods receipt PO. So now you start having your document management and your relationship match, map, which we're going to look at in just a moment. So let's go up here and let's see. We're going to put in a posting date. We're going to add that posting date in as of today. And then let's go add that into the system. So let's see if it tells me that I need any other dates. It does not. We are all good to go. So let's go back to that last document. And here we are, that goods, uh, that AP invoice that went out. Let's right click and do our relationship map so you get an idea of what we're looking at. And here you are. Purchase order, which has now been created into a goods receipt, which has now gone over to that AP invoice that I just did. And you're going to see that this document is still open because payment has not gone out yet. However, these other documents have been closed because my AV input, AP invoice uh, has automatically closed that. Thank you very much for listening to the overview video today.